Hey, welcome back to the Power Education video series. Today we are going to go over how to fuse up your single shot. So be that a single shot maybe from the Spirit of 76 that has fuse or a port on it. Um, how to fuse up a Dominator single shot that only has an E-match port on it. Also go over um, how to poke a tube maybe that you pulled out of a cake or how to use a talon on that as well. All right, let's talk about single shots and how to fuse them. So there's several different types of single shots available on the consumer market these days. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with Spirit of 76. There's also a Dominator. Um, and then some people will just take cakes and break the tubes apart that they want out of there. Maybe there's a nice comment in the tube, and so they take that and, and use that as they wish. Um, their Future War is a very popular cake. Um, made by Ledoux that has um, very nice gold droopy tails to it, um, bushy red comet by Supreme or Spirit of 76 Proline is another great one to use and then um, kind of smaller but very popular are the Razzles made by Pyro King um, also been rewrapped um, as called spikes sometimes depending on the color um, they're a little bit smaller in these tubes, um, but also, again, it's a very nice, cheap and economical way to get a common effect. So let's go over how to fuse some of these different things up. We'll start with the Spirit of 76. It's got a couple of different ways that it can be done. Um, so that, um, to get around any kind of legal things as, to far, as far as who can buy this, they do put Visco on here. Um, so you can certainly expose that. Maybe. And you could hook your talon right on there. And then I would just tape that talon down and be good to go. Um, now for a single shot though, a talon hooked to this visco here that's then got to travel into that tube is not going to be very precise. So it kind of depends on what type of effect you're looking for. If you just want to see some comets or some mines kind of randomly, this would be fine. Um, or maybe with the visco, obviously you could fuse a whole bunch of them together. And again, that would that'd be fine. It wouldn't be super precise in timing, um, but it would certainly work and it would add a neat effect to your show, add some lower level type things to your show. Um, if you're looking for precise timing though, the, the visco on these isn't going to be what you're looking for. If you've got access to some E-match or I-match these days, um, these will come with a cardboard base on them, but they're very easy to peel off. There's just hot glue around this, so you just pop the cardboard base off, and then inside there, there's a little E-match port. Um, so you start by pulling the little white cap that's on there out of there, and I like to save that. Um, a friend of mine showed me this, and for a while I was throwing these away, and they they play an important role. So then you pop that off, and then you're just going to slide your E-match or I-match down in there. It's got a little channel, a little hook in there, so you kind of take your finger and pull it around, and that'll catch in the hook in there, and that'll help hold it in there. What I found, though, is that when you're transporting these, that's not the most reliable. Sometimes it can kind of kind of whittle around and it'll fall out of there and you have to re-put it back in there when you get out um, when, when you're in the field or whatever or whatever you're setting up um, so taking the white cap and putting that back on there kind of firmly after you've got your e-match or i-match in there kind of helps secure that um, still not saying it's never going to fall off of there if you pull a lot it will um, but just an everyday movement, maybe you're moving the rack around a little bit or you're um, readjusting something, it makes it less likely for it to fall out of there. Um, so that's my preferred method for the 76 Pro line, is using the V-Match ports on the bottom there. Uh, let's talk about Dominator a little bit. Dominator um, Pro line does not have any sort of visco or anything. All it's got and right here on the side is a little E-Match port. Uh, a little bit different than 76 is, it just, uh, they didn't used to put this tape on here I don't think, and sometimes these would fall out. 
but it's just got a little port there so it's almost like poking a tube if you're gonna we'll look at it in a second it's just got a hole in there and you can insert your whole e-match or i match straight in there and then i would tape that is what i would do <coughs> excuse me so grab a little piece of tape just cover that i'll make sure it doesn't fall out and also make sure you don't lose any powder out of there and it's obviously not something you're going to want to yank this by it'll rip right out of there uh, but it'll make sure your powder doesn't fall out, make sure your e-match stays in there. Um, I mean, you just want to be a little careful with it, kind of the same you would with the 76 Pro Line one as well. So there is that. I can actually pull that out of there. Let me put the little cap back on there. Keep that taped down. So now let's talk about some of your single shot tubes. So this might be, again, from a future war or a razzle or really any other um, kind of cake that you want, any, any kind of effect you want. If it's a mine, a, a single shot aerial, a comet, anything. Um, if you're using talons, your best way is going to be just leave a little bit, a bit of fuse in there. Um, now what you can opt to do is replace this fuse. So this is probably, I don't know, whatever your normal fuse is in the cake, kind of a slower fuse between shots, maybe giving me a couple of seconds between each shot. Um, so if I clamp my talon right on there, it's, I mean, it's gonna be pretty fast, but it's not gonna be instantaneous. What you could do is grab a piece of quick fuse, pull this out, grab a piece of quick fuse, the fastest fuse you have, insert that into there and talon onto that. Now that still is going to give you a little bit of a delay. and It's not going to be a ton, but it's something that if you're trying to script a musical or a precise hit on something that you're going to have to account for. Um, so definitely works. I've definitely done it, but it's not your most precise timing. If you're scripting into a show, account for a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 second delay perhaps. Um, now if you're using E-match or I-match and you want to get straight into the tube, you're going to need um, a poke of some sort. So um, there's some places online that sell them. You can make your own. This is just brass um, that's been whittled down to a point. Um, I like these T-handles on here. Um, you'll see some that are just a kind of a rounded ball handle. Um, I think you can get more force with the T. Um, this I've actually already poked and put some tape over, um, but what you would do, just wherever the fuse had been coming out, so like on this one, if this is where my fuse was, I would take my poke and just kind of drive into that, and I could pull the fuse out of there, and I want to make a hole big enough that I can get my entire E-match or I-match into, so I'll kind of go through the tape that I've already got. The reason we're using brass is it's non-sparking. I'm just going to take my E-match or I-match, insert it right in there, and then again I would just tape this. And there you go. And now that will be an instantaneous shot. Whenever you scripted that in, that will go immediately. So definitely the preferred method for um, a single shot tube that you may have pulled out of a cake or something if you do have E-match or I-match. Um, now again, the, the match that I'm using has had its head removed, so there's no danger of, of it sparking or anything while I'm doing this. But um, if you are using E-match or I-match, there is a bit of a danger when inserting that in there. Um, friction or static electricity on occasion um, very, very, very rarely, but there's certainly stories of it can cause an E-match to ignite. Um, so when you're putting that in, in the tube, um, one, don't be indoors like I am right now. I wouldn't do this inside if there was actually a match head on here and I was actually prepping. Um, definitely don't want to do it in your house or anything. And then two, make sure wherever, wherever that tube is going. So um, if I had gotten that in there and as I was putting it in there, it went off, I don't want to be looking straight at it. I don't want to have it pointed towards me. I don't want to have it pointed towards my friends um, who are helping set up. So make sure it's pointed up or away from you um, so that you're mitigating any potential risk. Um, so again, it's, it's a very low chance of it happening, but it's a, it's a safety precaution and 
you know, if you're around a lot of pyros and you're pointing this at something, somebody might kind of call you out on it and say, hey buddy, don't, don't point that at me. Um, so just a bit of safety about that if you're, if you're inserting those. The same applies for if you're inserting them, you know, into anything that already has a port. Even, even going into this, there's still that little bit of chance that just make sure that wherever it's pointing is, is somewhere that if it did go off, would cause as, as least amount of problems as possible. So thanks for watching. This has um, hopefully been helpful to anyone just wondering the, the best ways of fusing up some of their single shots. It really does take your show to a next level if you're able to work some of those in. Um, can increase the cost of it a little bit and the complexity, but it really takes it to the next level. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, stick around on this playlist, and we'll show you some more things. Thanks.